This tutorial is to help those people who had Draw Plus and then upgraded to Affinity Designer. It's basically to show you how to take your clip art with all the layers across into Affinity Designer. And now you can see all my layers that I have. And then there I took it across to a Crazy Talk Animator 3 and did a slight animation with it. Right, what we need to do now is open our Draw Plus uh, package. I open File, New, New Drawing. That's the vice of what I need to do. I then go across to the gallery, into the wildlife section, and I'm using the wasp. Just drag and drop it onto your artboard. Deselect. You don't need to do anything else with this here. What we need to do now is go to File, Export, Export as Picture. Now this is the important part, you can leave everything else it is except for the format. You need to export it as an SVG file. From there, press export. I've already got one in here, so I'm going to save it as my version 2. Save. Yes. And that's all we need to do for this particular stage. The next one will be Affinity Designer. Okay, now we're in Affinity Designer. What we need to bring now is that SVG file into Affinity. How we do that is going to File, Open, go to wherever you've saved your SUV file. I've got mine in there. I'll open that one. And then if I click on the onto the right, you will see I've got all of my clip art from draw plus from here what i did then is i'm going to nip over to here i started to copy all of those sgv layers and what i've done for this particular case is on this one i've saved them all as individual part bodies from there i then went into and created a body one and then from there I wanted to create the wings. This will all come apparent in a minute as to why I'm doing this. And then I clicked on the wings, so I've got my wings. And now I've clicked on the other side. Right, now when we come to export these as PNG files, it's important that we'll do one at a time. So I'm going to start from the top, turn the left ones off, highlight the right wing section. You must ensure that it is selected like so. Then from there we need to go into File, Export, and we're going to export as a PNG. I'll leave all the other settings except for this one here, Area, Hold Document. If you don't ho highlight it like I've just said, you, you will not be able to open this drop down because you need then to go into Select Without Background export and then I take them across into my PNGs. I got my wasp. You can see that I've already done all the bodies, the wings, everything like that and, and it will come apparent why I've done the body on its own. I won't save it and then we do the same, exactly the same for the other wings and then the body. I don't take anything else then I took them across into Crazy Talk Animator 3, which will be the next stage. Right, as you can see, now I'm in Crazy Talk Animator 3. Basically, this part of the tutorial is for people who do not own this program. But I then thought, what could we do with the clip art instead of just having them as pictures? This is a nice little program to have a go with it. So what I've done here is let me go across into Actor, Character, 
and we come on to the wing section and I'm using that wings and then I click that button to get the bones into the center of the screen we go across into composer mode and now what we want to do is bring those three body parts that I did separate so in and click onto this one here first and then we come down onto the hip bone double click on it and this will open this screen where it's got root just what we want to do is replace the current sprite so I'm going to use the body there I'll resize them all in a minute and then we went on to the left wing same again it's highlighted we want to replace it so I'll put the left wing on and then we went across the right wing same again and then we clicked on the right wing we don't need that window open anymore so we can close it down what we need to do now is resize everything to fit we're going to start with the body first so click out of there click onto the body click onto the icon there and then just start to resize it of how you wanted it on above the wings so I positioned it there from there what we want to do now is bring all the uh, wings on the, to the top of the wasp so we we'll drag on the wasp bring it down below that wing click on that one and then we we'll start sliding it up till it's above the wasp from there I closed all these little parts down here because if you don't when you take it back onto the stage they're still showing with your animation we don't need them now so we'll just close them like so right so now we need to start to resize the wings this is just personal preferences how you want to do it then we start scraping and bringing it round I like to keep it within the boundaries the wings get them to this level that you want I'm doing this very quickly and then for the next one click on them if you can't just click on that one scale them up twist them about and then we want to scale them up to the light so bring it above there bring it a bit fatter and that will do for now so what we need to do now is take it across back onto the stage and you click this button here back to stage make sure you've highlighted it bring into that safe mode area here so now we're just going to add a slight animation to it so go into animation I've gone into template there into motions wings and then we come down to the B section for the animations so we come down keep on coming down where are we wings 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 oh there we go so we're going to add this one on first so it brings the wings upright and then I'm going to add this a couple of times let's rewind it and there you've got a very quick and dirty animation so I hope this has helped and you might find this useful to use your uh, clip art from Draw Plus. Thank you for joining me.